Anthony Washington, and I'm a solution specialist for Night Office Solutions. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to add, remove, and edit Scandi email users on a Lanier copier from your Windows 10 computer. Please note that these instructions also apply to Rico and Savin models. Let's get started. There are a few things to note before we begin. First, make sure your copier is on the network. Second, make sure you know the IP address of your copier. To find the IP address from your device, select Settings or User Tools, then select Machine Features, System Settings and Network Settings. Your IP address will be identified as Machine IPv4 address. Once those are checked off, we are ready to begin. Open your web browser and type your copier's IP address directly into the search bar. That should take you to the copier's web interface. Next, you'll have to log in as an administrator. To do this, click the login option at the top right hand corner of the page and enter the administrator username and password. Once you're logged in, hover your mouse over device management on the left hand side of the page and click on address book. In the address book, you'll have two options to add a user. They are listed side by side as easy input and detail input. Easy input is a wizard style entry and detail input gives you everything on one page. Typically, we like to use detail input, but we'll walk you through easy input as well. To use easy input, select the easy input tab and click add user. Next, select what kind of destination you want to add. In this case, we want to add an email destination. Once you've clicked the email destination box, click go to next. In the name field, you'll want to add the new user's name. So we'll enter John Doe as an example. In the key display field, enter in what you want the user to see when they walk up to the display. This could either be the user's full name again or simply just a first name, like John. For the title one field, select where you'd like the user to show up alphabetically. If you'd like to add the user to the frequent use list, make sure you select on for that field as well. If this field is not set to on, the user will have to search for their name alphabetically. Once these steps are complete, click go to next. On this page, enter the email of the user and leave the checkbox blank. Now click go to next. Finally, double check that all the information you entered looks correct. And if so, click OK. The new user should now be added. Now, if you'd rather use detail input, this is how it's done. Select the detail input tab and click add user. In the name field, you'll want to add the new user's name. So we'll enter John Doe as an example. In the key display field, enter in what you want the user to see when they walk up to the display. This could either be the user's full name again, or simply just a first name, like John. Once these fields are filled out, scroll down to the section that says email and type in the user's email address. You can now click OK at either the top or bottom of the page. Just like that, the new user should now be added. If you want to delete users, navigate to the address list. Check the box next to the user's name and click the delete button at the top of the page. And that's all there is to it. We hope you found this video helpful and that you'll come back whenever you have routine maintenance questions. If you have an issue that isn't covered in one of our videos, feel free to give us a call and one of Knight's experienced technicians will help you get up and running in no time.